I got in the mail today. My Stitch Fix box. And it is heavy. It is seven pounds. Okay, I'm just trying to guess what this is. I think it's more than close, because seven pounds for five items? It's more than a pound an item. I'm kind of nervous to tell you the truth. I have not opened it yet. I have not picked it in any way. Um, it wasn't supposed to arrive to the first. And I don't even know what yesterday was. I think the eighth. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Monday was. <laughs> Open it with my keys because I can't find my box cutter. That's not working very well either. Oh, toilet pretty box. Yeah. Wow. It's like two bundles <gasps> and a shoe bag. <gasps> oh, look at that bundle. So pretty. Gosh, I love my stitch fix. Um, I got some colors I like. Oh, I hope this was my, my guy, Brian. I hope, and I'm hoping I'm saying his name right because it's kind of spelt that, a little bit different than the normal Brian. Um, it might be called Brian or something. Um, if you're watching, um, Please let me know which, how to pronounce your name. Is it Brian or Brian or am I totally just saying it all together wrong? I'm going to link it to my next stitch fix. And then look at the shoe bag. Oh my goodness. I love this shoe. Oh. Sorry. Didn't mean to cut. But I'm excited. Okay. I don't want to look at the stylist cards yet because... I want it to be a total, well, I saw some of it, so, but anyway, I'm going to go to the note. Hold on a second. Okay, so I read some of it all the way up to where it's, what it says, um, what's in there. Here's my note. And look, it's from you. <laughs> I'm so excited. It says, hey, Valerie, happy fix day. I hope all is well. I ch I chose items based on your Pinterest board and items you've kept from us already. And then it starts telling um, what it, what's in there. And I'm not going to read the rest of it until a little bit later. Okay. Okay. And there's some envelopes. And here's my prize sheet. I'm not going to look at it yet. Oh my gosh, you got shoes. It's my first time. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I hope they fit. I hope they fit. Why are you going like that? Quit doing that. Okay. Okay, you're fine. Oh my goodness. And it's the low heel. Oh my goodness. I'm too excited right now, okay? I don't go shopping for myself. I, I have a panic attack and stuff. And yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. I hope it's not too expensive. If it is, I might have to get it in a way. <laughs> Awesome. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. I gotta calm it down. I gotta tone it down. I sound like a total nerd. I don't even care because I love this box. I love Stitch <laughs> Okay, we're working on this bundle now. I get to open presents. <laughs> and oh my goodness. Oh, OMG. Okay. <gasps> oh, I love the color. And it's got the zippers. And I love that. I don't know about all this. This would be a first for me about the fringe thing. But, oh. And I hope it fits. I got a big butt, so I think it'll fit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Pistola? <laughs> Pistola? <laughs> Whatever the heck that is. That's the bread. Size 31. That's, it's called Eden. Oh, I thought this was a olive color. Whatever, it's olive. I don't care. So it is the uh, Pistilla. 
pistola, something like that. Something frayed him ankle zip skinny jean, and it's called Olive size 12. Easy, Hillary. Is my makeup okay? Yes, and it's silky. No, and it's silky. I don't want this mascara, okay? I know this is like not even part of this video, and if I could reach it, I would show it to you. But it's that black radiance mascara. I don't like it. I mean, it's good. I'm lengthening, but we're not, we're not even talking about that. Okay. I love the jeans. I hope. Oh, I kind of hope they fit good because they're really awesome looking, but I kind of don't want them to look good because um, I, I'm pretty sure this is an extensive box. <laughs> oh, well. Let them all look good. I don't care. I'll just, yeah. I won't be doing this for a while because I'll be broke. And here is my. Oh, check it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it is the Skies Are Blue Shawnee Cargo Jacket. Olive, size large. Yes. I'm sure this one will look good. Oh, gosh. You can't get you so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to do the trial on part. Uh, look how close of, I mean, I'm, I probably won't be wearing them together because that's a little too much olive, but I like my olive and I've been being a lot of olive, but I like the olive, I like the burgundy, I don't know about mustard color because I had never had anything mustard, I don't know about that with my skin and my hair, but it's cute, it's a cute color. Anyway, okay, let's work on this. Oh, it's that blazer! Oh my gosh! I don't have a shirt, which that's okay. Um, so pretty! It's so pretty! And this is the Kinsey Rebecca, or yeah, Rebecca Stretch. Crepe? Whatever. Blazer. Red. Size large. This is not a red. But that's good because I didn't want it red. But it says red. But it's not red. It's more of a... I don't know. Between a peachy coral looking color? With maybe a hint of red? I don't know. It's that color. True to color. Right here. <laughs> okay, next item before I can talk to the days about this. Oh, God, I do you need mascara. Okay. It has elbow patches. OMG, it has freaking elbow patches. Oh, my God, I love you. I love you, Brian. I love you, Brian, Brian, whatever your name is. Oh, my gosh, my mom. I love you. Oh, gosh, you did so freaking awesome. You're going to make me spend all my money where I can't see you in months again. I know I pinned this, but it freaking buttons in the back. And it has elbow patches. And it looks cozy. And it looks warm. It's perfect. bad if I want to cry right now because it's so perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, and that was a weird laugh. Okay, so I got the Market and Spruce Little Spruce. Market and Spruce mm, Kaluda? Whatever. Button back sweater. Beige. Large. It looks like this in the front. And then it has the cute little elbow patches. And then here's the back. Ah! I love it! <laughs> okay, this video is probably too long, so I'll probably do a part two. Okay, 
I really love my box. I will try to um, leave a description of everything below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And comment, man. Comment. Because this is Citrix. It's what mainly I watch on YouTube. Mainly. Like, it's half makeup, half Citrix. more stitch fix at times and when I get like okay Valerie you've seen everything you're up to date on your stitch fix boxes that everybody's putting out there then I'll watch some makeup and mostly like favorites I love this box okay I'm gonna let y'all go don't forget to subscribe thanks bye hey guys I got on my first outfit or my first let's see, one, two, three pieces. I have the elbow patch sweater and the olive green pants and the, I guess you would call them boots on. Here it is. I am really loving it. I love the, the buttons. In the back, I love elbow patches. I love the way the pants are. They make my booty look not so old. <laughs> I like the how I just love how the the I love this sweater. I just love it. I love the little split detail on the sides. It's, oh my gosh, it's super soft and cute. I have my mirror out here just in case you're wondering why I look that way. Um, but yeah, it's really cute and cozy. And I could see myself repeatedly wearing it all winter long. And the pants, they make my booty look good. They make my thighs look good. They're the right length because I am five foot one.
clothes right through here so you can't see my lumps and bumps as much. And um, the sleeping length is okay. Um, I would definitely probably be like doing this little number. Especially since you can see the cute underlining. I might just let the underlining show. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. I saw them on Pinterest or whatever. Okay, that's how they did it. They rolled it up first to show that. No, maybe not. Do they not show the detail on the underlining? I don't know. Anyway, you would, I would definitely be like rolling it up. Maybe tucking that in. Which I like the under thing. It just doesn't look right on the outside to me. Maybe I'll look it up some more and see how they did it. The only thing that's left is the olive green um, jacket, so I'll be right back. Alright, I got the olive green jacket on, and it's cute. I like it a lot. So here it is, zipped up. It's got the, um, the strings in the inside, so you can't see it, but it's still giving you a a little bit here and here it is unzipped and I don't know I kind of like the strings to show oh I guess you could just everybody uh, <laughs> I'm only saying uh because I just got the book I wanted to continue a little bit but I'm gonna be broke I know it so I guess I'll pause this video the try-ons are over and I'll read my note and go over my prices thanks hold on hey so I'm just gonna read you the note that I got since I've tried everything on. Okay. Hey, Valerie. Happy fix day. I hope all is well. I choose items based on your Pinterest board and items you've kept from us already. We have the Pestula, Pestula jeans in a cool olive color that you can wear with the black top from your last fix. jeans yes I gotta find the undershirt that <laughs> was like with that black shirt I took it off so I could wear it with another sheer shirt of mine and now I can't find it anywhere like what the freak did I do with it that's why I try to hand wash it every time so I don't know how it disappeared but anyway um yeah <laughs> Where is it? Oh, or wear it with a t-shirt and a cute, and the cute Kinsey blazer. Yeah, that black shirt would also look good with this blazer. Yeah. You could also wear it with the gray top from your last fix. Those jeans with the shirt. Yeah. It was like a gray and black, and that would be super cute. Super cute. Um, 
I choose I chose the market and spruce sweater since you pinned it. Oh yeah. And I loved it. I really did. Wear it with the olive jeans and the versatile D V A booties. Mm -hmm. Okay. The blazer would look great over the strap dress, the last fix, and with the booties. Oh, that dress with the booties. With that blazer. Eee, that's, uh, that's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. The color, the stripes, and the brown booties. I don't know, but I would try it. I mean, I, I, I think the dress with um, the blazer would look really nice. I don't know about black with brown booties, though. I would try it, but um, I don't know about that but part. It would also go good with the black jeans you've kept from us. The booties with the jeans. Yeah. Now, that, that brown and black, like brown pants with brown shoes, yeah, I see more and like more acceptable to going well together than a black and white strapped dress with brown booties. Or maybe me, I misunderstood them. Layer. Oh, he meant this blazer with the black pants. I don't know. Whatever. Layer a strap tee under it. I need a strap tee. I don't have a strap tee. And it looks like I'm keeping this whole box, so I probably won't get a strap tee until um, you give one to me for summer. <laughs> Layer a strap tee under it. Okay. Lastly, we have the skies are blue jacket. It's similar to the jackets you pinned. Great for fall. And I love the jacket very much. And I probably will wear it a lot. Wear it over either top from the last fix in black jeans. Yes. Very well. Enjoy best Brian or Brian. Gotta tell me. And here's how to match it up and let it go. Heels too big, so I like my fix better than that. <laughs> and let's see, is there any pieces on here that I like that I don't have in this fix? Mm, not really. Nothing. I do like the strap. I like this. It's okay. I think I would want broader ones, but hmm, it looks cute because it's a high and low thing, and it looks really comfortable. And I do like those shoes too, but they would be too similar to justify getting another pair of kind of like them. But I do like those, and that would be a little bit more cooling than the ones I had, and I would rather have the warmer wear because this is my fall wear. I will not be, oh, I'm buying all five. As long as it's under $400, because the price sheet's next, as long as it's under $400, I'm buying all five pieces of these. And I will not be buying any more winter wear unless it's at like Sam's Club or something like that that's cheap and I have to have to fill in the gaps in my closet. But I will not be buying any more winter wear for the next or any more clothes for the next five months because I'm working on my capsule wardrobe and it's going good ever since um, I got that 
have a five box from summertime, which was five months ago because I kept all five, so I'm keeping not going for five months. So that's my rule. Okay. I will get back with you with the price sheet. All right, price time. Okay, so it says, thanks for letting us style fix number nine for you. We hope you love it. Items handpicked from you and Brian, I guess. I hope that's it. Anyway, the tan DV8 Satro Zip Booty for $95. I like them. I love them. I'm getting them. I just have to wear thin socks because of how wide my feet are. They don't hurt. I'm just thinking wintertime, thick socks, you know? They're not gonna they're not gonna work with thick socks, so I'll just have to have thin socks. Okay. The red Kenzie Rebecca stretch crepe? Am I saying that right? Crepe blazer? Whatever. Eighty eight dollars. Worth it. Love it. The beige market and spruce. Kaluta button back sweater, $58. That one's really good. That, if I didn't like, but some of the items, if I didn't not love every single piece of this fix, I would go for that one because it is the cheapest one and I love it. No. All right, the olive skies are blue. Johnny Cargo Jacket is for $78. That's a good price for a jacket. It really is. And these are like worn all the time. And like every time I see one, uh, a woman on the street wear them, um, and it catches my eye. Every time I'm just thinking, wow, she looks like really comfortable and I like it. Like it just catches my eye. So I'm glad I have that in my collection now. Or in my closet, or in whatever. The olive pistola, pistola, something. Katharina flare hem ankle zip skinny jean is eighty eight dollars. That's an okay cross for jeans. I like them, so I'll get them. For the and it says, don't lose your styling fee. It will be credited towards any items you keep in this fix. Subtotal is $407. But buy five discount, 25% off. That's $101.75 off. Your styling fee purchase credit. Also subtract $20 for the grand total of what I will be paying today for all five items is $285.25. Woo! Okay. <laughs> and no, additional sales tax may apply. Whatever. So I'm getting out of oh, my winter wear for $285 and what? 75 cents? No, 25 cents. That's great. Because I planned on my last winter that I try to shop for myself. I had three hundred dollars to spend i gave myself six hours six hours to go out and buy stuff do you know what i bought i bought a purse and i think one dress that i didn't wear long the purse was 40 or 50 bucks and i do love that purse it's still in my closet it's a nice red red leather purse i love it the dress was this a, a very pretty pattern in style cut dress um, for winter. And I figured I would just buy some tights and stuff. Well, I couldn't find no tights. I couldn't find no jackets. I, could, I just, I get overwhelmed. Whelmed. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Looking for stuff. Because if you find something, they probably don't have your size. If they have your size, you go in the dressing room, 50% of the time 
you're not gonna like it. So, okay, you go into a store, okay, say you're you're looking for tops, just for that dress that you bought at another store, way down on the other end of the mall. You think, okay, I want some tops. I'm gonna go to the Victoria's Secret and go get some tops. Okay, well, Victoria's Secret isn't the cheapest. It's not. And they have sales, but you know what? You're not gonna get sales prices if you're looking for a certain item. More than likely, you're not. So you go in there, you look for the tops. You're looking through all this stuff, trying to figure out what would be the best one. You always pick the same thing. And if they have your size, which is more than likely not going to happen, it's 50, 50 chance that they're going to have your size. Because Victoria's Secret don't, mm, they don't keep the stock. Not where I live. But, um... Yeah, so, and then you go home, you try them on. Can't return that. You'll have to go all the way back to the mall. Well, they might not even return pantyhose. I don't know. I don't buy pantyhose. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you go in for pants. You're not going to find nothing. It's just too far away. You're, I mean, me. I think that day I felt so bad because all I got was a purse and dress. And I went for winter clothes like these. And I didn't go out with any. So, I didn't have any. Like, I was cold half of winter. And then I finally went and just bought, like, a big black jacket from Walmart that didn't even... I mean, it was just comfortable. It didn't look good. It wasn't stylish. It was just comfortable. And it was okay. It was cheap and quick and... I don't want to look like that. I want to spend, I almost want to spend money as long as I get good results. You know what I mean? I don't like shopping. I don't like people. I don't like lines. I don't like inventory. I don't like choices. I don't, I just want what I like and I want it to look good. I want it, just, I just want it and get out. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.